Uh, steal your cousin's food stamps if you have to. Lie. So let me ask you this. So let me ask you this. Is six twelve enough for you to get more Maybelline makeup? How dare you? You know you <laughs> will be penalized. You will be penalized for that. I'm not firing you, but you will be penalized. How dare you? You don't say that to me. He will be penalized down to um six oh eight. Is there someone that I can speak to immediately? We'll get you in just a couple minutes. Much thank you, thank you. I'm a Boston CEO, and I have things to do. You look familiar, do you? Do you used to work for me? Yes, yes, I did. What are you doing here? Um, you know, just checking out the phones and stuff. You're able to afford? <laughs> you know that? Oh, no, I didn't know. I thought we affected your bills last week. Oh, you did, but you know, I got a new job and just moved on some other things. I don't think they allow recording in this establishment, honey. You should put that phone away. Your phone number? Hi, I'm Bob, I'm CEO. I just have one question. When are you guys uh, releasing the 10G? I know, I'm a Boston CEO. I'm the head of the game with the business industry here. And uh, you guys already have the 6G, right? Yes. What G do you have? Well, I'm currently under Verizon, honey. El Gore, thank you so much for your investment. Did he really just send that, that amount? El Bor. Yes. El Bor, thank you so much for your investment, my dear. It is very much obliged. Uh, your IT department. Um, and I finished that um, project that you were asking me to take care of. Perfect. Um, so I just I just wanted to show you really quick. Um, let's see. I got my glasses you know, on. Let me make sure we see what everyone, please. Kevin is one of my top employees. Yeah. And um, he's he's got something to show all of us. Make sure we get close to the screen here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I finished that profile picture that you wanted for Obliged Daddies. Um, I got the signature blue. I got, I made sure your tattoo was really visible. And then I added some money around the edges because I thought that that would like really give off your, I don't know, your style, I suppose. So, it's really that bad. Thoughts? Is it really that bad? Yeah, I'm sorry. I really just, um, I was tending to something over there in Uganda. Um, now, uh, is this not signature blue enough? Was that, that did I get the shade? Signature blue. I will love to show, uh, show this two piece to Rihanna so we could add this to the lingerie a lot immediately. Well, it's a large weapon, potentially of mass destruction. I'm not quite sure I can explain, but it is biological. It's biological mass destruction, large. Uh, is it a pogo stick? Kind of close, ma'am. I'm not sure if I can say this over the internet. Uh, use another vernacular. Uh, use another term if need be, because I really would like to know what are your, what is this uh, dangerous weapon? Well, it. It is in full. Have you, have you seen this weapon? Yes, it, it's in full. It's uncut. <laughs> I got to go on that note. Got to go on that note. I um, my name is H actually I don't have a name because my mom sees homeless and we all live in the sewers and she actually gave birth to me with the rats and um. Basically, the rats ate her, and I'm living in the sewers alone, and I would like your help, and I would like some food stamp cards, um, and I'm calling on McMobile, and it's, like, been really hard for me. Basically, the rats actually make clothing and I would like you to invest in my business. So basically, they take the scraps from this 
sewers and we make clothes and I would like you to invest. Here is one of the rats actually making clothes in real time. <laughs> and, and one of the rats tried to escape. We tried to escape. We tried to Block that caller! Block that caller immediately! Oh my gosh! Block that caller! Hello? Uh, please, let me turn my camera on. Hold on. I don't want to show my face. Hold on, please. Okay, hold on. Wait. Ugh. Okay. Oops. Um, sorry, hold on. Um, wait. <gasps> wait. Oops. <laughs> I'm give you a moment, everyone, um, because we have a lot of people that want to play. Uh, and this chat today, we have a lot of people that want to play, and we're not going to be doing this today. Uh, unfortunately, <clears throat> I have to keep everything esteem and professional. And I see that uh, people want to play. I do not employ rats. I don't know where people are getting this from. I am done with how you treat me. You pay your workers 611, I pay mine 612. So if you want to fight, I'll fight you. My rats are better than your employees, okay? I'm done with how you treat me. You treat me like garbage. I'm in the sewers. I need help and you need to understand. I Excuse me. You have everyone thinking that I employ rats because of you. You need to let everyone know that you're the CEO of the rats, not me. Wait. No. <laughs> you need to let... What is going on over there? You need to let them know that you're the CEO. <laughs> Everyone, this is the CEO of the rats, not me. No, no, so we're, we're, nibbling my toe, we're nibbling my toe. We're going to eat me like my mom. <laughs> you need to see a doctor, uh, honey, immediately. I'm sending out a yellow sticky note with a the... mic on it. What's with the outfit? It's giving judge. I'm sorry. You said this is rat girls what? Little rat. I'm a grown, I'm a grown woman. I don't believe in rats talking. Wow, man. Wow, I'm man. Sorry, honey. I, yeah. I'm a grown woman, and I'm not going to sit on here on an app uh, in front of people and um, act like I'm, I'm talking to a rat on the phone. That's what I'm not going to do. I have people to pay on Friday. Employees are relying on me. I'm too grown for that. I don't do that in affected Alabama today after she was accused of bludgeoning a Mint Mobile employee to death with an Android phone. After hours of preliminary testimony, Boston CEO did admit to beating the poverty striking employee, but says her actions were justified after realizing the employee was wearing a bonnet. I don't do bonnets, everyone. I'm professional. It's not corporate-like. You will never see me carrying a conversation with a woman in Walmart with a bonnet. Boston CEO also stated that she, quote, does not wish to associate herself with people of such poverty and that she, quote, saved that affected young man from a lifetime of not being able to afford. When questioned on this statement, she simply replied, quote, don't act shocked, dear. Trial is far from over. Stick with WRAT News for the latest developments on this chilling case. Well, looking at the picture of us in jail, um, you see the resemblance, right? No, I, I would never wear a pink like that. And also, you're missing a signature blue. No, girl. The pink wig is me. The red shirt is you. They took your signature blue away from you because people in jail would figure out that's you and they would jump you and beat you up. So they had to take it away from you. And and um, and that's a picture? that You're, you're saying that's a picture? 
That's us in jail from when you from when we went inside the Walmart to get my job application and you beat up a homeless woman. Honey, that picture is low quality. That cannot be me. I would you never know, you know how people allow in jail. A camera. Uh, I would never allow a camera with low quality uh, snap a photo of me. I would never. Well, you know how people in jail have the Obama phone. They sneak it in. They shove it up for coochie. They sneak it in and take pictures like that. That's what happened. Yeah, I cannot relate to um, whatever storyline this is because a person of my status, you see, I, um, a person of my status, I I, I, I don't uh, intertwine myself with things of that nature, prison, um, low quality. So I'm so sorry. Well, we have a synthetic wig, so. I'm refusing, as you see, I'm already having everything. I already got the, everything set up and I'm so unable to move to another room and i've already discussed things with the management and on um, prior and this was not with? discussed miss dorothy okay okay i don't think miss dorothy's here right now i can see who's available at the front of the chairs yeah, I, I can i can speak to her to see if they're still willing to give you another room it's not that I, it's no? not that okay. i at all they came they this was not brought up at the last i have other things already scheduled how long do you have the room rented out for till tomorrow till tomorrow I'm going through other things personally right now, okay? I'm personal. And I'm, this is right now is for a, my job and stuff right now. But people like, I understand your officers, but my family matter. But I'm not doing I'm not anything wrong. Them. I'm not doing nothing wrong. If they want you off the property and you're refusing to leave, I paid, wrong. but I paid hey, this to the manager. We can and see about getting you refunded for the day that you have remaining. But if they want you off the property, you have to get off the property. But what liable reason? This is a corporate. The this is a corporate way. franchise Motel 6. And literally. And they want you trespass. No, there's nothing that have, have been wrong at all. I have that's nothing. No, it doesn't have to be. That's what I'm saying. If what sense as a human? What sense as a human? Seriously. Like but trespass I, anybody in the state of Florida for any reason. I understand you want power. I'm not here for that. I'm just here trying to. What I'm saying is, if they no longer want to conduct business with you and they don't want you on the premises, they have every they have every right to remove you. To remove me. That's all right. They offered you a. a all right. So, well, someone is going to have their bills affected, like dead ass, because I spoke to Miss uh, the general manager. Uh, if this is not, uh, 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 this is not like literally like I no mean, like this. I have to get some lawyers involved. It's like seriously. Deal with their corporate, but for now, we deal with criminal matter. And right now you're there's nothing no law being broken there's no law being Absolutely. broken if you're refusing to leave yeah there is i have not broken anything listen. with a receipt in the room that i own i need you, i just said i need listen. time hey, listen do you want to start grabbing your belongings i said i need time well let's start doing it all this not time. in front of you not in front of you in, in my underwear come on what sense i told you to put pants on no it does not work that way i was a human i need to get i told them i need uh, time to get things ready sir and stop looking at me like that with that aggression you're on live you are just so You're rude, right. sir. I'm not so rude. Yes, you are. The hostility with rude. you. We're trying to give you the opportunity to grab your We're trying. We're trying. To, I'm trying. I discussed with management. I need Listen, time to get it. They called you. You haven't anything up, so let's go. Sir, you don't know what I have done. Obviously, What's there's still stuff in this room. You don't know exactly. what I have done. Once again. Can I please just have a moment and grab my things? How much time do you need? I told them at least an hour or two. I had to get things yeah, to unset. Yeah, they want you off now, they, they have to leave. I understand that. Stay here for an hour or two. Well, we it's to up them. to you, but I, they, I, I didn't know. call you guys. Let me explain this to you. We can speak to them. If they want to grant you an hour to gather your belongings, that's up to them. If they say they want you off now, you're going to have to leave now. This is really like senseless. That's I'm not trying. If, like, uh, if they called on you, I didn't just randomly show up to your door. They obviously called. You understand that? If they want you off the property, you're going to have to get off the property. Okay? So we're trying to give you the opportunity to grab your belongings. But since we've been here, you have made no effort to start grabbing your belongings. So I've been talking to you I since you've been here. What are you talking? You can multitask. You're multitasking holding your phone. I'm in my phone. underwear so get some with a wig on, okay. with lashes, and very much known in the area. I mean, are you serious? You're multitasking, but just not on what we're asking you to do. You're holding your phone and talking. You can be packing and talking. You see what I mean? You're not working with us. We're giving you the opportunity. So do you want to start grabbing your belongings? I want this door closed so I can grab my That's stuff and I can put my it's not working. It's I, open. First of all, I, I just gave you my word. I literally just gave you my word that I'm trying to get my stuff ready. No, you're not. You're standing here talking to us. So get your I'm stuff not turning around, so I'm not turning around and all of this stuff. I'm not gonna do all that in my underwear. Then put pants on like I've already told all you. All right, just move out the way of the door frame. How about that? How about that? That's not how it's working. 
I, the door's open. No, I'm, I'm no, agreeing no, to leave the door open no, now. Can you please turn your faces away? While I get my hey, stuff. All right, listen. This is What's where we're the at. deal? My you God. If you're not making the effort, you're going to go to jail. And you're going to go to jail just like that. I am not so worried. I am doing nothing wrong. I'm just okay, trying listen, to have listen, some we're privacy. You every opportunity, package. and you're not listening to us. It's, it's very safe. Where's your supervisor? Okay. Supervisor. He's supervisor. Way, I need, well, no I will. I will wait to your supervisor. I will. That's not how it's working. I will. Are you refusing to leave? I'm waiting for your supervisor. No, no. Are you refusing to leave when you're being? I have not. I'm waiting for your supervisor. He ain't going back. We're not playing. You used to leave upon owner's request, so we're going to jail now. Come on. Um, I don't know. Probably just take off. Yeah, I mean they gotta hold it. Hey, you guys have a key for this? Yeah.